All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have to say that now because I looked at my viewer stats the other day and about 20% of you guys are females, so uh, thanks for watching. Anyways, um, I'm going to tear these carbs apart and start looking at them. Uh, one thing I'm noticing right off the bat, and I don't know if this would have anything to do uh, or cause any issues or not, but this is where the choke plunger goes in right here. And it doesn't actually work like a normal choke, and I don't know all the details, so I won't try and go into specifics. But uh, anyways, um, this one here has a ball in it, and this one don't. So uh, from what I can tell, all that does is pull air in through that port right there. So I'm guessing that the biggest difference there is it pulls air from the uh, through the air clean or the air box instead of just dirty air. Um, but I'm going to try and get that plugged up. Uh, the reason that that hole is there... Uh, if any of you guys don't know this is uh, and you actually see it a lot of places. There's one right here uh, There's one right here. The reason those holes are there is because when they make these carburetors They have to cross drill in a lot of places. So here for example, you see that hole on the inside They had to drill this hole to get the passage that they wanted to move the air from here to there and Then they just go and they throw like a little ball bearing or BB or whatever you want to call it in this hole To plug this hole up so that you don't get uh, any suction or any leakage through that hole. Uh, so just a neat little side note for anybody that didn't know that. So we're going to go ahead and take the bowls off of these, I guess, and just get them cleaned up as best we can. I don't know if that'll make a difference or not, but uh, I should have put my plugs back in my case, and I didn't, but uh, that would tell me if my pulse pump is what's leaking. And actually, I think I could probably... I think I might do that. I think I might put my plugs back in the case and just pull the rope over a bunch of times and see if it fills back up, because it may not be leaking past on its own but when i'm pulsing it or when it's when uh you know it's actually trying to pull fuel that's when it might leak past so uh, i'm gonna do that quick before i take these carbs apart all right so i haven't been able to confirm or deny uh, whether it's the fuel pump but uh chances are that needs to be rebuilt anyways because it sat outside for five years and uh, it's just an old sled and i don't know when the last time it's been done is so uh, i got the parts on order to do that and so we'll get that done um Let's see. I guess I'll probably take the carbs apart and clean them just because they probably need to be done too. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll get that fuel pump put on, get the carbs put back together, and uh, see where we can go from there. But that's going to be about it for this episode, uh, seeing as how I don't have parts yet. Uh, so, yeah, if anybody else has any ideas uh, for what it could be, uh, leave it in the comments. Otherwise, please leave a like, share, subscribe, and check back for more.